You're watching the news from behind television. A very good evening. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 29 for this year, adopting the fourth national plan for telecommunications. The plan outlines the policy of the telecommunications sector for the next three years and aims to develop telecoms infrastructure and cover all areas of Bahrain, thereby enabling the provision of higher speed services at reasonable prices that would contribute to national economic development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today sent a cable of condolences to the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa on the demise of his mother. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister extended heartfelt condolences to the bereaved family members, praying to Almighty God to rest her soul in eternal peace and give strength and courage to her family to bear the loss. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Arabia Palace today a number of royal family members and senior state officials. The Prime Minister affirmed that despite the current economic challenges, the kingdom is moving forward with development so as to achieve its goals in order to guarantee the progress of the country and meet the demands of the people in terms of quality of life and housing, education and health services. He called for redoubled efforts to complete development and service projects, noting the major projects for developing the infrastructure of energy, housing, health and education, which are an indicator of the vitality of the national economy. His Royal Highness recalled the role of Bahraini families and their contributions in reinforcing development efforts and commended the values of Bahraini society that encourage communication, cohesion and unity. The Prime Minister praised the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for being pro protective shield against all attempts to harm or divide Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Afar Palace today the former Jordanian Prime Minister Dr. Abdus Salam Al Majali. His Royal Highness highlighted the deep-rooted relations between the two countries and people, noting the importance of building on joint cooperation to achieve further development. The Crown Prince commended the contributions of the former Jordanian Premier and discussed with him regional and international updates. He said that peace-loving countries must join forces to maintain regional security and stability and highlighted Jordan's role in protecting regional security. For his part, Dr. Majali noted the excellent relations between Bahrain and Jordan and stressed the importance of expanding cooperation. He also thanks His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his care and interest in strengthening relations between the two countries and people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also met at Afar Palace today the Indian Ambassador to Bahrain, Alaq Komar Sinha. The Crown Prince said that joint cooperation must be enhanced so as to reinforce economic cooperation and increase the volume of bilateral investments in the best interests of both countries. He highlighted the historic relations between Bahrain and India and stressed the need for unified efforts on regional issues to reinforce its security and stability. For his part, the ambassador thanked the Crown Prince for his interest in promoting relations between Bahrain and India in all fields and the best interests of the two countries.
Under the patronage of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association and Founder of the KHK Mixed Martial Arts Team, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the GCC Creativity Conference 2016 was launched today at the Regency Intercontinental Hotel in the presence of the Youth and Sports Minister Hisham al Jodar, President of the Representatives Council Youth and Sports Committee and P. Ghazi Rahma, the Governor of the Capital Governorate, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, the President of Arab Science and Technology Foundation, Dr. Abdullah Najjar, and a number of senior officials and academics. His Highness hailed Bahrain's government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, through its plans and strategies for supporting youth. His Highness also praised the huge efforts of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to develop initiatives for supporting young people's creativity and in, in, in innovation in social, cultural, and sports fields. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, approved three decrees by law on amending the Commercial Companies Law, the establishment of a regulatory authority for Bahrain conventions, exhibitions and tourism, and transferring the work of the Supreme Council for vocational training to the pension fund. The Council approved four draft laws regarding electronic transactions, the salaries and pension fund, improving the living standards of private sector employees, and the wages and pension support fund. The Council then approved a report by the Services Committee on Unemployment Insurance. <laughs> 